Hi YouTube, this is Rose, and this video is Drag Queen Stripper Show for Kids. And I'm going to show you how we are paying for it. That's right. One of the moms, Lynn Meager, that helped expose this graphic teen pride public library event, then get doxxed by Antifa, said, quote unquote, while she was being removed by the police, said, quote unquote, I'm staying here and I'm documenting this. If they are not doing anything wrong, they should not be ashamed. Then two officers grabbed me by my arms and pulled me out of my chair and pushed me out of the library. That's right, folks. I will be reading the article and uh, we will be watching the complete video. I will omit the music so not to get a copyright strike. Please let me know what you think about this. This is for children. This is an event at a library at Renton, Washington, the Renton Library. Um, we will be reading an article. This happened on June 22nd, 2019 on our taxpayer dollars. I would like everybody to take notice that this is a stripper costume. Uh, this costume is made to give the illusion that this person is um, exposing their mid-thighs and buttocks. Um, it's a costume, of course, but let me tell you what. Uh, those are stripper actions stripper uh, move, moving the clothes is what strippers do those are stripper boots that's a stripper's outfit those are stripper dance moves very bad stripper ba dance moves done very poorly this is not a very good um rendition of being female however this person identifies as a female or that's what drag queens do they're male and they dress up like females and then they perform but not at the libraries for children where people are bringing in their children as young as those in strollers okay so we're saying babies and toddlers this is supposed to be a program of people of these drag queens reading at the library and already they have captured two that had uh pedophile records 290 one of them was a high risk pedophile and they let him into the library so i do believe that it is our responsibility to come to an understanding of what is being done in these public libraries with our own very own tax dollars so uh please watch till the end i'm going to make it as short as possible this is a very upsetting um video this is upsetting me a lot but let me just say i have no hate for these folks whatsoever okay you can do whatever you want in life but when you do it around around children and you do it on my tax dollars our tax dollars i believe we should have a say in what is going on and now they're mouthing some swear words okay let's get started Teen Pride, description, a pride celebration designed by teens for teens. So they're telling you it was the teens that designed this whole um, celebration. You can trust it. The kids designed it and they did it for kids, the teens. And if anybody thinks teenagers aren't kids, uh, you better think again. Learn about, uh, remember what it was like to be a teenager and who you are now that you're older. Learn about local organizations here to support you. Free lunch and dinner. That's expensive, folks. Food has gotten incredibly expensive. We all know that. Fun, crafts, loads of activities, open mic, karaoke, advice panels. So they're gonna give your kids advice. Safer sex presentations. What does that even mean? Let's find out. Drag show, free swag, free binder raffle. So they just kind of slip in, drag show. Why would they have a drag show for preteens, tweens? Explain that to me, please. These are the ladies that exposed it and this is, was, was posted. Let's read the article. 
Undercover moms expose graphic teen pride public library event, then get doxxed by Antifa. The two concerned mothers who attended a recent teen pride celebration at the public library in Renton, Washington, told the college fix that they have now been doxxed for their efforts to expose the event, which included a graphic dance by a drag queen and the distribution of other adult and gender adult sex and gender materials. Asking, asking their names not to be published out of fear for their safety. So they fear for their safety uh, because they're not doing anything wrong. Um, because nobody's allowed to not like it or know who they are. Shouldn't we know who is around children? But yet they're publishing... Uh, Antifa is publishing the information of the moms that expose this. Let's continue. As some of their birthdays, addresses have, have already made the rounds on social media, the two concerned moms have said in the interview on Monday that they attended the June 22nd event because they were upset at the programming and wanted to shed light on it. Thank goodness that they did. They Otherwise, we would not be reading this and know about this. They said, although the library officials promised it would be a, f a family friendly, it was anything but that. The women of some of, and some of their allies attending the event in somewhat undercover capacity were able to capture a film of a large, a large amount of the pride festivities at the Renton Public Library. I, I'd love to see the rest of that stuff that they've got, the rest of their footage, including graphic performance of Drag Queen before the police called to escort some of the moms out. Now, this particular video was posted on this person who uh, goes by the name of Kylie Thriller Harms and... Um, posted it on her Facebook. That's how I got the uh, complete video. I didn't get it from this article. In the performance, the dry queen was seen removing the skirt at its, and at the start and dancing scantily clad clothing at, to the tune of the song, Like a Girl. The drag queen sang in part, if you feel like a girl, then you real like a girl. Do your thing, run the whole damn world. Okay. Doesn't that sound like maybe a little 16-year-old would say something like that? And, and a 16-year-old shouldn't even be speaking that way. Who wants to run this world? And yes, it is damned. The song ended in various explicit explicitives. Swear words. I witnessed the kids in the show, and in the following panel, they couldn't have been more than 10 one of the moms told the fix. In the main video, parents, teenagers, tweens, children, and even kids in strollers can be seen at the library event. Footage showed the distribution of lube, dental dams, and flavored condoms. One pam pamphlet stated, now, I'm not saying that kids, you know, at the library, folks, that's where they're, they're supposed to get their condoms from the library? And, and and pamphlets stating abuse is not S and M. What are you serious? Sadist, it, which stands for sadism and masochism. Sadism and masochism. S and M. Abuse is not S and M. Oh, so I guess they're saying sadism, sadist and masochism is sex, but S and M is. Wait, I'm. S okay, this part's got me so confused, folks. You're going to have to help me with this. Abuse is not S&M, which it stands for sadist ma and masochism. Pictures, I, I don't even understand that part. I'm just completely thrown over by this whole situation. Pictures also showed sex pamphlets in the shape of male genitalia. Really? Really? What if your child is a virgin and she's never seen a penis? She's supposed to see a, a, a picture shaped of it, pamphlet, and hold it in her hand? Oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Think about that, folks. They're giving them penis-shaped uh, pamphlets, and they pick them up and hold them in their hand. Oh, no. No way. I don't even... Oh, 
go moving on. Celine Juna, an independent journalist. Selim Juna, Juma, I'm sorry. Selim Juma, an independent journalist, obtained a close up of the freebies handed out at the event, one of them in the shape of a penis, and reads in part Reducing sexual risk is the easiest way to prevent your Moby Dick from exhibiting 50 shades of gray. We want you to be the lord of unzippling flies, but don't let the STIs catch you by surprise. They want you to be the lord of unzippling flies. Unzipping your fly, your pants, they want you to be the lord of it. We want you. See, folks, what words they're using and how they're talking to your children. And we're paying for this. One of the moms told. Now, I have to say, we don't have to put up with this. Okay, I'm going to go over here really quick. This uh, incident right here was um, canceled. Okay, so that's another video. That's another day. This is the gentleman that exposed it. Thanks, Rob Shim Shimshock. And uh, this is the Muslim Republican who posted on his Twitter. Uh, these were being handed out by Drag Queen Story Hour. And Tifa supports handling handing out condoms and genitalia-shaped sex documents to little children. Now they are harassing these Christian women. This is unacceptable. One of the moms told the fix that she saw young she saw young people at the event under the age of 18 who were not accompanied by adults despite despite a library official saying that they would not be allowed. Meanwhile, another mom, see, they would not be allowed without their parents because of what kind of the con the content of their whole agenda their whole program meanwhile another mom added that planned parenthood representatives there spoke about its gender reformation services and giving to testosterone and progesterone to young people without the parents there and they were hoping to offer them to children under 18 without parental consent red flag red flag huge red flag oh my goodness this is making me really not cool with this. I am not happy about this one bit. The event also boasted gift cards for breast binders, one of the tools that male gender, transgenders, men used to attempt to make their bodies into more traditionally masculine shape. Oh, so a binder to press your breasts together to make you look like a man instead of a girl. Um, really? They were giving gift cards away for that? Oh my lord. This is not good, folks. At, at around 5 p.m., event organizers began to forcibly remove parents who did not have teens with them, the mom said. Are you serious? The parents had to leave, folks. If they didn't have children with them, Lynn Meager, an attendee at the event, tells PJ Media, Media that while she was being removed by the police, she said, I'm staying here and I'm documenting this. If they're not doing anything wrong, they shouldn't be ashamed. Two officers then grabbed my arms and pulled me out of my chair and pushed me out of the library. Really, officers? Oh my goodness, this is insanity at its highest. Now this video, I can play it, but it's basically them just standing there talking to the police. After the concerned moms video the event was posted, Emerald City Antifa began to dox the women, and now we'll understand what doxing means, because I didn't until I read this, tweeting to retaliate today. We have two queerophobic adults filming kids going in and out of the bathrooms and teen pride event at Renton Public Library. We'll post the link in the thread. Please help us identify these pervs. They were probably filming uh, the drag queens going into the female bathrooms for to expose what was going on to show people what is happening at these public events. The library is a public place. Oh, this is too much for me. Okay, to re to retaliate today. Oh, okay. And so basically, what they did is they posted all their information, their license plates, their pictures, commentaries began to verify one of the woman's date of birth and address. 
are you serious but remember over here they said um, just for their own personal safety they didn't want to um, publish their names but Antifa will go out and pu publish the names of the women that are exposing them Jamie Jamieson she posted her own name anyways you know people that are exposing things don't usually hide but people that have something to hide do okay that's why it's called hiding not wanting to reveal your name you're hiding something when we went out to the parking lot we were standing there talking to this man and this man was uh, photographing us he started yelling at us and filming us and he said I'm putting your picture on Twitter I'm filming your license plate I'm going to make sure everybody knows who you are <laughs> you hateful bigots Wah. and then we were surrounded and there were four men filming us and they were kind of like circling us like wolves I'm telling you this is an evil spirit folks we also had good intent we have we who have good intentions to protect our children from this indoctrination have become the enemy one of the moms told the fix oh boy I'm telling you this is just a little too much well here's the one we will end it in the good news this was canceled and uh, this is actually canceled because the um, a public official wrote a letter and I have that to share with you. And that is another video. Thank you, everybody, for your precious time. I appreciate it. What's up with this T-shirt? Young people just touching each other like that? Come on. What? And, and you can't even tell which is male and female anymore. That's what they want. That's their program. That's their agenda. I appreciate your time. I pray all is well with your soul. Thank you so much. Bye.